What's going on everybody? In today's video, I picked up the be all in the iPhone accessory for my iPhone 12, the latest, the greatest AirTags. Everybody's been talking about AirTags long before they were even announced, and I figured I might as well pick up one of them, because I genuinely don't even know what I'm going to do with the one that I bought. So I'm going to go ahead and pair it with this phone, get it out of the box, because they're cool, I just don't really have anything I can think of to track with them. But here's the box that it shipped in. Let's go ahead and get it out of that and see the packaging. I got mine personalized, so it's going to be an uh, interesting experience unboxing them. And the other thing is, is there's no resale value because I put my initials on them. If I can get it out of the UPS box, it's just hanging out. There it is. Look at it, just chilling inside. It, it looks pretty cool. I mean... I don't know. I, it's an Apple product, so it's got its fancy Apple packaging. There's no surprises in what you're going to get with these, but they're so annoying getting them out of the shipping boxes. On the box, we got one. It's an AirTag, and I'm pretty excited to see how this thing looks, how it works. The box is super tiny. The thing retails for $29 in the US, so it's kind of on the affordable price. It's specced about the same as all of the other trackers, like the tile and whatever, but this is definitely a tile killer because it just taps into the entire ecosystem of iPhones, iPads. It's got a little green pull tab, as is typical with most Apple products, so you just kind of peel that tab off. It looks like everything is just going to slide right out of the packaging. So we've got our AirTag. What do we have? But here it comes. We're going to open up the AirTag. So it says AirTag on the front. We open it up. It shows the iOS home screen and we reveal the back of the AirTag. It looks pretty sleek, pretty fresh, and it just kind of pops out just like that. There it is with my initials engraved on the front of it. Yeah, there we go. It's already making noises, so it knows it's out. Uh, there's my AirTag with my initials branded on the front of the AirTag, so Obviously, nobody's gonna buy it from me if I ever wanted to sell it, so this is my AirTag forevermore because I engraved it, uh, which I don't usually do with Apple products, but I figured, eh, this one's cool. We'll see how it looks with something written on it. It's super tiny, it looks really cool. I just don't know what I'm gonna track with it. So if you guys have any suggestions of what I should put this thing on, Drop those in the comment section down below because I've been thinking hard about what I'm going to track with this AirTag since I got it and I genuinely don't have any ideas. Setup though, pretty simple. You just take your phone, bring the AirTag near it. It prompts you just like with AirPods and other Apple accessories. You connect it and it wants me to name it and I don't know what I'm going to track with this. Do a custom name, use this iPhone, and I'm gonna name the AirTag Brian's AirTag because I just don't know what the heck I'm gonna actually track with it. AirTag. Continue. Oh, that's kind of cool. I can choose an emoji to represent my AirTag. So we are gonna choose the money emoji because everybody likes money. So we'll pick the money emoji. Criticism with the design of the AirTag is it's got a stainless steel back, which I have like stainless steel Apple products and I've had them in the past. It's a terrible design for something that goes like in a bag or gets carried with you. I don't know if any of you ever had like an iPod touch back in the day, but the second you like looked at the back of the iPod touch, that thing scratched like crazy. So I don't know why they did that. I think the back of this is gonna look terrible, be covered in scratches, cause it's going in bags, it's getting put on keys. It's just a bad idea. It looks really cool coming out of the box, but I don't know why Apple has a thing for stainless steel. I don't mind the stainless steel on a watch because lots of watches have it. It's not really getting scratched too much. It's on my wrist. That's not a big deal. But this, this is just kind of stupid. Same thing with the iPod touches back when they used to put the stainless steel back on those. It's like, 
Apple, why? Why are you doing this? It scratches so easily. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a cool product. Again, if you guys have any really good ideas of where I could put the air tag to find things. I thought about putting it in my backpack, but my backpack always has my iPad in it so I can track the iPad if I lose it. Well, the best thing I've thought of so far is if I put it in my car, when I park places and I forget where I parked, I could track the air tag and get to my car via the air tag. That was kind of the best idea I've come up with so far, but if you have a better one, which I'm sure somebody out there has a better one, please let me know, because I, I really like the thing, and I kind of want to use it on something cool, but I just don't have any ideas yet. So anyhow, that is this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to show some love in the comment sections, especially this one, because I really don't know what I'm going to do with this. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> so thanks for watching this video. I will catch you soon. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one.